What's up, Michael here, back with another Webflow tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove that Webflow badge with just a few lines of code. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first off, I just want a disclaimer. You can actually just remove the Webflow badge with a paid plan. So I'm not really endorsing you to do this custom code solution. However, I will show you how it is possible. First off though, you can remove the Webflow badge on any host or on any site plan you purchase from basic all the way to enterprise. Or if you have an account plan, you can also remove the Webflow badge if you have the growth plan or up. Now, if you're on an account that doesn't allow you to remove the Webflow badge, I'm gonna show you how. So go onto the site you want, click the three little lines and go on settings. You wanna go into your site settings and then you want to go to custom code. All right, so I'm in my custom co code. I scrolled up a little bit because I have a Google site tag that has my, um, uh, my personal ID address or whatever it's called. And I'm just gonna show you the code that you want to paste in. I'm gonna include a link in the description where you can just copy and paste, but this is the code right here. Now, let's quickly go over this and see what it's doing. So we're wrapping this in a style the HTML style tags. And then we're basically referencing the Webflow badge with this class. And then within that, we're basically saying display none. We don't want to display it. If you watch my other videos on how to hide a section, we're basically just using that same display none, but with code this time. And we're setting the visibility to hidden. I'm going to save the changes. I'm going to publish it to the um, domain or the staging domain. Before we do that though, I wanna to go to general and actually show you that this site is not eligible to remove the Webflow branding. So right now it's on by default because this specific account isn't on the growth plan, so it can't remove the Webflow badge and this specific site doesn't have a site plan. So the badge is actually not allowed to be removed, but you're gonna see with this code, if I go to the site, you will see we have the Webflow badge. I'm gonna quick refresh and you're gonna see it removed the Webflow badge. So that's how you can remove the Webflow badge. I do also wanna do another disclaimer that you don't totally remove the Webflow branding from your site. You're gonna see over in uh, the site settings, you can remove the made in Webflow badge and you can remove the Webflow branding in HTML. A lot of people might not know this, but if I go and inspect this site, you'll see here at the top of the HTML, this site was created in Webflow. So that's just a quick thing to know. You can still you can still know it was made in Webflow, but that's a quick tutorial on how to remove the Webflow badge. I hope you found it really helpful. If you did, feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this, or I am also a Webflow developer and a Webflow consultant. So if you need help with that, feel free to check out the links in the description.